Loneliness does not come from having no people about one, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to oneself, or from holding certain views which others find inadmissible. According to a Gallup poll, around 24% of adults frequently experience loneliness, translating to over a billion individuals feeling this way, and this figure might be even higher due to limitations in the survey. This is alarming. Additionally, a 2024 poll by the American Psychiatric Association shows that 30% of American adults have reported feeling lonely at least once a week over the past year, with 10% experiencing it daily. This raises the question, why do people feel lonely? And more importantly, how can we address this issue? Carl Jung, a renowned psychologist and founder of analytical psychology, had profound insights on loneliness. In his autobiography, Memories, Dreams, Reflections, Jung shared his reflections on how his early awareness of the underlying processes in existence influenced his connection to the world. He pointed out that his feeling of isolation originated in childhood, a sensation that persists into adulthood, primarily due to his knowledge of things that others seem oblivious to or are unwilling to embrace. He argued that loneliness arises not from the absence of company, but from an inability to communicate one's significant thoughts and beliefs, particularly those that others might reject. Jung noted that real companionship thrives when individuals maintain their sense of self and do not lose their individuality amidst social interactions. He suggested that loneliness is not just physical separation, but a deeper emotional disconnect. Humans inherently seek meaningful relationships to share their thoughts and feelings. When they feel ignored or unappreciated, they often retreat inward, leading to a sense of loneliness even in the presence of others. Being honest about our thoughts and feelings may not attract a multitude of friends, but it will help us find those who resonate with us. According to John Lennon, when our beliefs and perspectives are deemed unacceptable by others, it can create walls around us. This pressure often motivates individuals to suppress their true selves out of fear of judgment which leads to a disconnection from those who could provide genuine companionship. Jung's insights shift the focus from external isolation to internal acceptance and communication. He emphasized that expressing our true selves is crucial for forging authentic connections and living a fulfilling life. Interestingly, while societal norms often praise being accommodating and pleasing others, these tendencies can detrimentally affect our mental health. Extensive research has shown that suppressing anger and prioritizing others' needs over our own can lead to chronic health issues. When we ignore our feelings and needs, whether consciously or subconsciously, it triggers stress responses that can harm our immune system. He believed it is vital to have a supportive environment where individuals are free to express unconventional views and feelings. In his autobiography, he recalled the loneliness that stemmed from his childhood sensitivity and from playing and daydreaming alone without anyone to share his thoughts with, except perhaps his mother, whose admiration did not offer the connection he needed. As Jung progressed in life, he recognized the importance of maintaining one's individuality within relationships. Ignoring feelings, even unconsciously, leads to internal battles that weaken our well-being. However, there are ways to reclaim our wholeness. Psychologists constantly emphasize core human needs such as belonging, autonomy, mastery, genuine self-esteem, trust, purpose, and a sense of interconnectedness. These needs are crucial for psychological and physical well-being. Reflect on how you feel when these needs are met versus when they are neglected. While it's commendable to care for others, it's essential not to lose sight of your own identity in the process. Speak your truth, establish boundaries, and prioritize your mental health. Your happiness and well-being depend on it. After all, you cannot pour from an empty cup.